Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball video for you this evening. If you didn't see our previous video, we've been working on this F-14 Tomcat that a customer brought by. And uh, we've got it up and running for him, but we figured we'd shoot a video of us playing it. He said we could. We asked permission. He said we could we could play it. <laughs> but uh, the uh, this is a Williams Classic from, I believe, 1987. When the customer brought it in, it was uh, uh, had some issues with the switches and the displays. We got that fixed up. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. But we're going to try it out now. And this is a very nice example of one. He's done some cool mods to it. Um, I'm not a big mod guy, but he did some, some cool ones. They look great. And we're going to check it out and see how it plays. So, it's a... Uh, it's a production F-14 Tomcat. They made a they made a few uh, prototype ones that didn't basically didn't have the red stripes on them. The art was a little bit more simple. But uh, this one is in excellent shape, really. Designed by the legend Steve Ritchie, who had done High Speed. I don't know if this was his next game after High Speed or if it was a few down the line, but I always liked Flash. And he's still around designing stuff to this day, working for Stern Pinball. It's got a little bit of wear on it. I'm just showing that because that's about all the wear you're going to see. <laughs> the game is in very nice shape. One of the mods he's put is uh, clear flipper buttons with a light LED in them. I'm going to show you which serial number this is, if it's got the serial number on it. 554-96058. I think that's an early one. Um, it's just in really nice shape. So one of the interesting things is that it is from Bally's Aladdin's Castle. Going crazy. Here they come. Here they come. It's got another one down here. For whatever reason, they put two property tags on it. So as you can see, everything has LEDs, and they are bright. They look great, though. Uh, if you've seen other videos I've done, I'm not really a big fan of LEDs, but this is a perfect game for LEDs. It just, you know, fits the theme. I'm usually working on old stuff. I just don't like them in that. Something like this, though, why not? Um, it's also got a playfield protector. See the sheen there off the playfield? So... You can see that there's a little bit of wear on the playfield. This is not a brand new machine. But all in all, it's very clean and in great shape. And with that protector on there, hopefully it'll last a long time in the condition that it's in. We didn't do any of this work, by the way. The customer did it. And did a good job of it. Uh, I don't know if those are the original plastics or if that's like a new set, but they all look great. All right. And then up here, you've got these, one of the mods is these uh, boards on the side here. The production one didn't have that. But they look great. Fits in with the, uh, with the design of the machine. So I would imagine that the uh, ring around the pop bumper, that's probably a mod as well. Again, looks good. 
and then I don't know about that jet, but I would imagine that's probably a mod too. Looks very nice. It's nice and clean. It's got clean white rubbers on it, and it plays fast. Now with these uh, playfield protectors, it's like a big sheet of glass. Basically, these things play crazy fast with something like that on it. So if you ever get one that's had an overlay put on it or anything like that, they play fast, really fast. And it's a Steve Ritchie game, which is fast anyway. Um, so fantastic light show on it. So if you look on the back box, oh, it's also got LED displays in it. You've seen us do those in a few videos. Very cool. Has the original uh, translight in pretty good shape. But the lights behind it are LED. You can see kind of how they purposefully place the lights, not the customer, but just the design of the game. They purposefully place the lights in certain places to make them accent certain things on the back glass. Pretty cool. Then, it's got three dome lights on the top. Uh, high speed had one right in the middle, like a red one. And then, of course, it had these wire ramps everywhere on the play field, which was a new thing. Um... Just a crazy cool design. Got a lot of cool stuff going on on it. This particular one has the clear flasher um, domes in the back. I don't know if those have been replaced or not. The thing's so clean, I mean, maybe, but the early ones had those. Later on, they made them uh, a solid, an opaque color because they were blinding people when they played it. <laughs> You can't win. So that was General Yagoff. But it was really Steve Ritchie, the guy that designed the game. You know, if you he and his brother did all of the uh, voiceovers. So the the sinister sounding voice there, General Yagoff, that's Steve Ritchie. Now you may recognize his voice from Mortal Kombat. He was the voice of Shao Kahn. Is it Shao Kahn? Yeah, Shao Kahn. He also did all of this stuff like, Fight! <laughs> Round one! Fight! Let me get the phone. Alright, it was my brother, Donnie. So I looked it up, and uh, Steve was the voice in Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. He was not in Mortal Kombat 1, but if you go back and listen to Mortal Kombat 1, it may have slipped your mind, unless you're a big-time fan of video games, that the guy sounded completely different in the first one. Steve was definitely an upgrade. So uh, you'll hear him throughout uh, this game, even in the attract mode. So this game had this cool General Yegov kicker. So if you look up in there, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Because you've never seen it because the glass isn't off, right? So you can't see what's in there. But since the glass is off... There's a switch way up in there. And then there is a... Coil. Aiming right at you. So it kicks the ball straight back. It's basically the same thing as on the ball save. So whenever the ball comes down here, it's going in the out lane, but then it gets saved by that little coil right there. So it's basically the same thing as up in there. So very cool, very cool, very cool. You see up here it's the Hitman versus General Yegoff. And Steve has said before that he likes whenever you're playing the game for you to be basically fighting the game. He wants you to have somebody to 
to have some kind of adversarial thing going on. And that's definitely what he's got going on here. So you know what? Games are always more fun if you read the rules before you play them. So, it has these cool cards down here in the apron. You know, Steve's also a guitarist, so I'm, he may have done the, uh, says music by Steve and Chris Gren Granner. So Steve may have actually played some of that. I mean, it's MIDI, but, you know, came up with it. All right, so here's the instructions. Pre-flight checklist. One, score Tomcat to light locks, multi-ball, release, and rip-off. So Tomcat is down here. Tom. Cat, and then it's also up here. Tom, cat, and you can see there it says lights release, lights lock on, hot streak. Right. Rip off is that last white insert up there on the General Yegoff. Maybe that's how you get rid of them. I don't know. I don't know. Two launch ramp lamps, red equals locks, blue equals landings. Launch ramp. Hmm. Maybe they're talking about these. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to try it. <laughs> Shoot, lit, release, or rip off with three locks to start multi-ball play. Shoot a lit release or rip off with three locks to start multi-ball play. Okay. Four, shoot the launch ramp during multi-ball to score a landing. Five, three landings win a fighter jackpot. You can see by this point the games were much more complex as far as software. They just had, you know, modes and things like that. Very cool. Landings win the fighter jackpot. Six, kill General Yegoth or lit kill targets. Yegoth. <laughs> what a great name. Or lit kill targets to advance kills towards an extra ball. All right. Where are my kills? Kill. So that's these. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Fox. Shoot flyby to light and score bonus X and start the hot streak. Shoot the Tomcat targets repeatedly to advance the hot streak bonus. Hitting the lit one through six targets, lights flyby bonus X and spinner. So one through six targets are these ones here in the middle. Flight insurance returns the last ball to the player for fly again when lit. Top secret multi-ball special. So the gentleman that I fixed this for has said that uh, the original problem that he had was because uh, he was having phantom switch closures, he thought, because he, he was starting, he was getting really high scores and he was starting modes that he didn't believe that he actually even completed what needed to be completed to start the mode. So, I may not be good enough to even get it to that point, but we'll play it a little bit and see what happens. So I'll get the tripod and we'll uh, we'll set it up and see if we can put it through its motions a little bit and see if anything weird happens, like a mode starts that's not supposed to start or something like that. 
But uh, I'm going to turn out the lights. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> I don't know. The LEDs might be too bright for that, but we'll see what happens. Would you look at that? All right, we're going to try it out a little bit and see what we can do. <laughs> Not much at first. Oh. We're just getting the feel of it, people. It'll be all right. Oh. So whenever you, whenever you knock it in there, you, uh, it shoots it straight back at you. Oh, too fast for me. <laughs> you died, comrade. It's doing a match. It matched. All right, we're going to turn up the sound. This is just too quiet. Be right back. The sound is about to go up. Watch your ears. All right, we're going to get serious with it now. We got the sound up a little bit. So it's going to be loud. Wow. Oh, I got to get used to the top flippers. And I have to decide what I want to shoot for. Got some nice, fun looping shots. That worked pretty good. I'm locked on fire, it says. All right, we have locked two balls. What?
<laughs> Went through all that trouble to lock those two balls, and it just took it away from me like that. Boop. Remember, I have four flippers. I might get more points. I gotta make this, this top, this top, um, oh snap, while it lasted. 
Turn on the lights for all the people who like it. I like to uh, do their stuff with the lights on. Smooth. in a test after the last video and I tested this right outlane switch. It works fine. I think the ball just keeps bouncing over it. Quite enough. No, we got it. That was weird. The ball got stuck but behind the top left flipper. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Locked on, brother. Locked on. So I gotta make that, the, this shot to start multi-ball. I missed it. I missed it. Can I backhand it? Nope. Got me. Oh, come on. Boy, it, it's pretty fun. Let's go one more game.
have locked one. The second one didn't get up the ramp. <laughs> We have locked two. Oh man. Oh. What's the ball? <laughs> the ball is stuck on the uh, the ball save. I wonder if I wait if it'll do a ball search and find it and save it for me. It's searching for it, but it won't. It does. As soon as I find the, as soon as the ball locks, as though it's going to end the game. Yep. Oh, Matt, it might be all right. All right, cool, cool. So I cheated it. pays off people I didn't quite make the high score table, but I'm getting better. My skills are improving. All right, 
right. Did you see what happened on that last ball? Did you see what happened there? So I was on the third ball, and the uh, basically it ended up. How did it happen? I think it went up or something. But anyway, it ended up sitting on the uh, the lip of the plunger there, and it was stuck there, <laughs> right? And so I thought, hey. If it does a ball search, maybe it'll pop that plunger and knock it back into play. So I just let it sit there, right? So it started doing the ball search. Now you die. And it it checked the the locks and stuff that um that nothing was in, thinking that the ball was in that. So the first time it did that. So I just it didn't find it. So I let it sit there. And then it did ball search, and whenever it did, it kicked out all of the locked balls. So then I had two free balls on the play field, and uh, started, you know, I was getting tons of points and stuff. And the ball, I, as soon as everything started shaking, it shook the ball loose and it drained. So I thought, well, whenever that ball drains, it'll it'll count it and it'll say that it'll say that the uh, uh, the game's over. But it didn't. It let me keep playing two balls, right? Because like it confused it since that one was sitting there and it had to do the ball search. So then the next ball drained, or whatever, and it started lighting up the locks. So <laughs> I was able to fill the locks and then make the shot. Started the multi-ball and then killed uh, one of them. And then actually uh, got a kill. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Patience pays off, people. All right, so there you have it. That is Williams F14. What a cool game. As you can see, I just barely scratched the surface of it because... Uh, you know, I'm not very good at these, but I enjoy myself. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it. Leave your comments down below. And uh, we'd like to thank everybody that's been checking out all of our uh, uh, videos over on My Brother Donnie's channel. If you don't know about that, My Brother Donnie is literally My Brother Donnie. And uh, he and I have bought this little grocery store in a small town near here. <laughs> That's this old dilapidated building. We're fixing it up so that we can rent it out, and things are going swimmingly. So go check that out. It's pretty fun. I'm usually over there with him, but he's got a lot of other videos about other things, too. Uh, and then also, we'd like to thank everybody that's been using our Amazon links. If you don't know about that, down below there is a link to Amazon. If you go to that, simply anything you buy on Amazon while you're there, after you click our link, we get a tip for. So we appreciate it everyone that uh, has been doing that. It's been adding up. So thank you, folks. We're also looking into getting some t-shirts and stuff made. So look for that coming soon. We're going to have a bunch of different stuff like that. So uh, if you're interested in anything like that, it'll probably be down below the video. So thank you to everybody that's been tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you on the next video. That's Williams F14 Tomcat.